guys, this is Brandon from Team Magical Hats here coming to you with my Gravekeeper deck profile. Uh, it's really similar to most of the other builds you'll see. I feel like all the builds are going to be relatively close to the same with a couple changes in cards, but this is my preferred build. Uh, I play the three recruiters and the three oracle, of course. This is what I feel like most every GK deck is going to play just because it's your, your main play is to ride a spirit back, a recruiter, once it's in the discard or graveyard and uh, tribute it for an oracle, use his ability to reduce the attack, and it's just such a power play. It's strong against dragons, it can be really good against Amazons, Harpies, just about anything. The, the worst it's against is uh, Swordswoman, but there's just ways around that. But these, I feel like, are necessary in every deck, and I play one Assailant, and my main reason for the Assailant, I'll get to it a little later, is that it's got a attack and a defense that can be able to run over things, especially with cards like Wonder Wand that you run into in other matchups, like... In Harpies, if they have Hunting Ground and, uh, what you call it, um, one on the field, it's at 18, so this will give you 2,000. It's a way to beat over it without relying on Oracle. It's just a normal summonable one. And with Rite of Spirit, it allows you to bring it back to be able to have that option. So I like having it here just for that. And it's another target for a Wonder Wand. If you brick a Wonder Wand early, it gives you an extra uh, chance to have a Spellcaster, which I play three Wonder Wands are the only spell. It's just the best one. It's your draw power. Then, of course, I play three Rite of Spirit. I feel like that's, again, a standard. Uh, I play three Magic Jammers just because Dragon's the most prevalent matchup, and uh, well, at least in uh, our group. And so this is just the best card against it. But this is also really good against, like, Harpies. You can uh, hit their Hunting Ground so that that way they lose their attack boost and they can't really just go off popping your stuff. And you can use it against Amazons and Heirloom or Village because they're both really strong cards. So most decks are going to have power spells. And even in the mirror match, hitting a Wonder Wand can be a big deal because that's probably how they plan on getting their recruiter in the graveyard and starting to, uh, I guess, go through their motions. Um, three Windstorm just because it's, you know, the staple, best trap in the game. Uh, then I play one Magician Circle. This is kind of a tech, and it's mainly just because... If I have, like, the uh, Assailant, it's another way to get the ball rolling with Recruiter to get it on board. But I honestly, I use this as a good counter for uh, Dragons. Because when Dragons summon their Lord of D, if I bricked and didn't open a monster, but I have Magician Circle, uh, it, it, it almost turns into a Recruiter. They attack with Lord of D, and this will give me a way to be able to uh, summon the Recruiter and get it out there and have myself a defensive monster that they couldn't run over with the Lord of D. They'll replay It'll buy me a turn and get me my search off. So I feel like it's uh, really good for that. And for the skill, another thing I do a little different is I play Power of the Dark. Um, this can be bad if you're boosting your opponent's spellcasters, but uh, those decks you don't run into as much. It's usually Harpies, Amazons, Amazon Harpies, or Dragons. So this doesn't really help any, any of them. And in the uh, mirror match, it's probably just going to be a stalemate at the most. But the reason I like this so much is just for the math on a lot of these cards. And that's another reason I play the Assailant, is that Assailant with this puts it at 17, which can run over uh, Harpy Lady 1 without Hunting Ground. It can crash with uh, any of the Amazons, even if they have Village, because they'll be at 17. And so that's one of the issues the deck can have, is if they have Heirloom on an Amazon, and you bring out Recruiter and minus all of them, you're not able you're able to attack once but it lives a second time so you're not able to get over it so having the assailant that's another reason i like it with power of the dark is that you can ride a spirit this back or even summon it if you already have an oracle out and this is just a way to be able to get over um those boards so that's the reason i play those variant that i feel like these are the two most interchangeable cards you can kind of make some decisions there maybe decisions on your number of jammers and interchange it you can try different skills like the one that searches for GKs, but this is just the way I prefer to play it. I feel like it has a really strong matchup, especially for our group, and I think that's the most important thing about speed duels is with the group that you have. You know, if you're going to an event, I think that's where it becomes a little more choppy as far as what you do. I feel like you kind of want to gauge the group you're with if you have your own local scene and just kind of figure out what it is and make decisions based on there. Since there's no side deck in it, it's a lot more like Pokemon, the trading card game, if you've ever played, where you kind of have to make decisions in your main deck for particular matchups. And that's kind of the reason I'm playing the cards that are. And, you know, if two cards in your deck are different than someone else's, that's, you know, 10% of your deck that's been changed from someone else's. So it can definitely have a huge impact on it. So that's my deck.